What is up, Madden NFL 25 fans? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look real quick before we get into this gameplay. The 49ers offensive and defensive team breakdown. And guys, the 49ers is obviously uh, probably one of the top five teams in Madden NFL 25, and, and for good reason. And let's get into this depth chart and uh, talk about why the 49ers are so good and the schemes that I like to use for them. So at quarterback, we have Colin Kaepernick, the uh, second-year phenom, uh, just a phenomenal uh, player uh, last season. It hasn't been as great this year, but it's still been very effective. And with this 88 speed rating, he's going to be able to use this offense to perfection. Really like Colin Kaepernick here uh, at quarterback. Running back, we have Frank Gore. Uh, but obviously, San Francisco has a multitude of running backs. We see we have Michael James, Kendall Hunter. We also have Marcus Lattimore, the rookie out of South Carolina. And... Um, my man, Jewel Hampton. All of these running backs are very effective in Madden 25, especially Frank Gore uh, and LaMichael James. Those guys are a one-two combo. And for this offense, as you guys well know, uh, the pro personnel is what we're going to be running with. So this is going to be great uh, for this team. Uh, at fullback, I went ahead and put LaMichael James there. But obviously, we will substitute Bruce Miller in power running situations. We like to use LaMichael James here for the halfback off tackle play that we broke down this week. And a couple of other triple options and different things we can do with him out of the backfield. Wide receivers, we like to have Anquan Bolden and Michael Crabtree. I call them the Twin Towers. Uh, both six foot one, uh, both almost 220 pounds. I mean, they're basically the same exact receiver. Uh, very effective. I mean, look at these ratings. They're almost identical to each other. Uh, it's almost freaky how identical they are. It's just Bolden is a little more experienced than Crabtree, but both are going to be phenomenal receivers when their career is all done. I, in my opinion, both of them are top 10 receivers in the game today. Tight end, we have Vernon Davis, uh, arguably the most physically gifted tight end of all time. Uh, 6'3", 250, 90 speed, 88 strength. Just going to be a great flex guy. We can use him in so many different ways, and we want to get the ball in his hands in as many ways as possible. Uh, didn't really make any adjustments to the offensive line. Uh, here we're running a 34 defensive scheme. Uh, and remember, we want to have beef on the front line this year. So Ray McDonald is obviously a no-brainer at the left defensive end. Right defensive end, I moved Ahmad Brooks down there. He doesn't have great speed, or speed, uh, but he doesn't have great speed or strength. But what Ahmad Brooks brings to the table is his 88 block shed rating and his 87 power move and his 93 hit power. Uh, the ability to have a guy on the defensive line in a 34 defense who can do a little bit of everything well and I have some really explosive characteristics uh, as we go through these ratings. Really not a great linebacker in my opinion but a very good 34 defensive end or outside linebacker and I really like him in this defense for the right defensive end. Uh, defensive tackle we have Justin Smith and if he gets hurt we're going to have Ian Williams come into the game. You want your strongest most beastliness awesomeness uh, guy playing the defensive tackle in this situation and we're going to go with Justin Smith uh, the 12 year veteran. Left outside linebacker, uh, I went ahead and put Corey Lamar New Year here. He's going to be blitzing almost every single time in this defense. That's why I put him here. Uh, he's got good speed. He's got good strength. And the thing I really, really like about Corey uh, Lamar New here is his 90 hit power and his 89 finesse move. Going to be able to do a great job when all you need him to do is blitz and use his athleticism. Middle linebackers, Willis and Bowman, probably, in my opinion, the best tandem to ever do it in the middle of the field. Uh, just phenomenal athletes and great linebackers. Right outside linebacker, off, his off-the-field problems have plagued the 49ers this season, but Alden Smith is going to be a great addition to this defense. Even though he's not on their roster in real life, we can use him in Madden, and I suggest using him at the right of screen, or excuse me, the right outside linebacker in your depth chart. He'll be at the left of screen outside linebacker on, on defense, and you're going to be able to use this 95 overall ability and talent and everything he does well in this defense to perfection. Lastly, let's take a look at the secondary. Uh, I was actually considering starting Namdi Asamuga here. Um, uh, no, uh, not Namdi Asamuga here because, or Asamoa, excuse me, because of his height. But when you go through the ratings, you just see that Terrell Brown is just a better overall guy. He has better catch. Um, not only does he have better catch, but he also has better uh, hit power by a little bit. Uh, just everything that Asamoa does. Brown almost does better in a sense. I mean, the only thing Osmo has on him is his play recognition. We see the coverage skills are good. Namdi, if we ever go to a nickel package, though, we are definitely going to put Namdi on the outside. Uh, 
with that 85 press rating and the size of Namdi and move Brown into the slot. But in this defense, we don't press coverage a lot, and that's what I or well, we don't actually jam them at the line of scrimmage. So I really like this defense, uh, this lineup for the Niners. Free safety, Eric Reed, in my opinion, one of the best rookie free safeties uh, ever to play the game, in my opinion, uh, especially for Madden. Uh, with his 88 speed, his 62 strength, his 90 acceleration, 71 catch, and his 93 hit power makes him an absolute physical freak in Madden and one of the easiest players. We could use her him if we want, or we could use her, obviously we could use her our linebacker, but... Definitely, definitely don't, don't sleep on Eric Reed here. Uh, strong safety, we have Dante Whitner, in my opinion, just a great strong safety. Uh, great for hit power and, and heavy hitting over the middle. That's what we're going to use him for. Lastly, our kick returner, uh, we're going to put Michael James back there. I had Kendall Hunter, but Michael James just makes plays, guys. I'm telling you that right now. Got to have him back there. So we're going to put him back there at kick returner and punt returner. And we're also going to have uh, Kendall Hunter be our third down running back. So be sure to save your depth chart before you go out of here so that you make sure you have it in game and we'll see you guys in a couple minutes on the field thanks for watching and have a great day and be sure to come back for the game of the week